leaves are already falling around the cage, and I don't want to rate, but hopefully the, uh, it'll blow away from the cage. Anyway, second to last week of the regular season. Doesn't get any uh, better than uh, Lake Orion and Rochester Adams this Friday at Adams. Two schools that I don't want to say hate each other, but they're not that far from each other, three miles. There's probably some uh, advantage, well, not vandalism, but good natured tra trash talking and other things like that with these two schools. Green and white, brown and gold, di many different contrasts. Division one, division two school. It's all right, so they're saying shut up, so you're telling me who's going to win the game. Well, that's a very interesting question. The big, in the big thing will be Lake Orion's defense against the high powered Adams offense. Andrew Wozak and uh, Cody Wilson, the preacher's son, who me and Spy Keith D did a, a profile on today. They score points like crazy, but Lake Orion's got a stout defense. I think the K-Man's going to go out and give this one to the road team. Okay, you can go ahead and uh, bring your, uh, bring your, throw your eggs at Cosmos K or whatever you want, Adams fans. But I think Lake Orion's a little more balanced and will win this game by four points. But either way, just happy to see these teams playing in week eight as opposed to week three like they have in years past. Each should be pretty much ready to go and on their, uh, on, their, on their games as opposed to just getting into the season as week three goes. Let's see, what other games around the opening? Hmm, hmm, need my crystal ball. Oh yeah, over at Clarkson. Interesting matchup. Farmer Eagles, Harrison, and Clarkson. Also played in week eight. They've played in week three in years past. Um, I'm sorry, Hawks fans, but I don't see you going to the playoffs this year. That's a tough chore to win at Clarkson. Shut down that high-powered offense. Dakota Bender, Tyler Scarlett. Got to go with the Wolves in that one. Uh, seven to ten points would be the prediction. You know, it would be hard to imagine Harrison not making the playoffs, but hey, it's not a fair world, I guess. And then finally, I think another game to watch would be over at Milford. Wall Lake Western Milford, both are five and two. Whoever wins makes the playoffs. Uh, whoever loses obviously has to win week nine to make the playoffs. And uh, couldn't, you can't go against the country boys, Milford, in their home yard. And uh, so the only way Western wins is maybe they lock Milford in their barn where they give the pregame and halftime speeches. But uh, if not, country boys. Enjoy the games. Gotta go back to the cave. These leaves are just. Ugh.